Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and to another World of Warcraft episode with Applejacks. So in the last episode, I promised you some engineering profession training today. So we're going to work on leveling up our engineering and we're also going to work on our first aid. I went ahead and I did a lot of farming beforehand so you guys didn't have to see me do all of that stuff. And I picked up some really cool things. I got this Dwarven Mage Staff of the Owl, which looks pretty freaking awesome on Applejacks if I do say so myself. And then I got some new gloves and I also got her um, some new bracers as well. So she is good to go for now. So what I need to do here first is I need to make 15 of these whirring bronze gizmos. And I went ahead, like I said, and I got a bunch of cloth and that should get me to level 150. And then I will be, um, yeah, I believe I should only have to make 15 of these. And I'm pretty sure that's what WoW, Prof WoW Professions had said. So we'll see where we are after these 15. And then I'll just pick up the recipe for the bronze framework, which I won't be able to do just yet. Okay, so this did go yellow already. And that's okay. Hey! Get off my anvil, Assistant Professor Juggernaut. Wow, so rude. All right. Okay, so that only got me to 148, so let's just do a few more here to get to 150, and we should be good to go. Alright, cool. So, I'm going to go learn the bronze framework. But I'm not going to be able to do anything with that yet. Yeah, there it is. Bronze framework. And, oh, explosive sheep. That sounds awesome. But I'm going to go ahead and learn all of these just because. Alrighty then. Anyway, but um, the other, the reason why I can't do the bronze framework, which is, oh wait, where is it? There it is. Um, is because I need medium leather to make those. Uh, so that is going to have to be something that I have to get from the auction house. And it doesn't look like I'm going to need too much of it so it should not be too terribly expensive i'm hoping um but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna head to the cathedral square because we're going to learn the rest of our first aid so i'd like to see if i can get some um to start making the silk bandages that is the goal here and it was the weirdest thing I was in here a little bit earlier, and the signs in Stormwind were, like, all gone. There was nothing pointing anywhere. It was so strange. All the main signs were just, they were just poles. I ended up having to log out anyway for something else, and I re-logged back in, and then they were there, but it was just weird. Blizzard, you so crazy. All right. So the first aid trainer is here, and yes, so we, um, we're going to get uh, to 115 with our wool bandages, and then we'll go ahead and do that, learn the heavy wool bandage, and get to 145, and then we should be able to learn the silk bandages, and maybe even the heavy silk bandages. Okay, so we got to 184 with our first aid, and I did get a little boost with the heavy wool bandages and was actually able to get two skill points uh, per bandage with those. So I was only able to make four heavy silk bandages, um, so I will make more of those whenever we come across more of the silk cloth. But for now, I think what I'd like to do is head over to the trade district uh, because I want to check out the hero's call board and see what quests are out there and do some questing a little bit in this episode, just to break it up a little bit. So that is where we are headed right now. Everybody's still glowing pink from Love is in the Air. Excuse me, excuse me, coming through. So what what do we have? We have Cape of Stranglethorn and Southern Barrens. What does the Adventurer's Guide say? Cape of Stranglethorn, the Hinterlands, Desolus, uh, Southern Barrens. 
No Muragon. Um, absolutely not. Um, alright. Well, I think... We'll start the quest here. I think the Cape of Stranglethorn is going to be our best bet. So let's go ahead and accept this quest. And then we'll head over to the Flight Master and hitch a ride over to the Rebel Camp. We'll, my, we'll most likely have to ride over to the Cape, since I don't have any other well flight paths over there. So I will meet you once we get there. So, we've arrived at the Rebel Camp, but we're not going to stick around. We're going to hop onto our little ostrich here, and we're heading all the way down to the Cape. Uh, we're also going to grab that flight path that's right in the middle. That's Fort Livingston, I believe. So, we'll head off in that direction. We will also grab any mines that we come across because I do want to continue on with leveling up our mining skills. So we have to get to, I think, it's 150 for the, our mining still. I was able to grab some uh, new experience and new new skills for the for the mining but not too much. It was smelt silver and smelt something else. I can't remember. But it was um, quite the interesting adventure that Applejack's had. I went all the way over to the wetlands to gather some of that wool cloth from these dragonkin and some orcs. Uh, they're battling at some area in the wetlands. And according to WoW Professions, these things apparently drop the wool cloth the most. And there were a quick spawn rate and they dropped a lot. But I was certainly not getting a lot of cloth. I needed at least 80 pieces of cloth to be able to have enough for not only what we were leveling up for the engineering, but for my first aid too. Because I wanted to get that up to speed during this episode. And a couple of people had come over and invited me to their group because it was literally the worst drop rate. I was getting like one or two pieces of cloth for every... I don't know, six to seven orcs that I killed. I mean, seriously, look. Applejack's is level 29 now because of all the farming that we did. Oh, hello, Jungle Stalker. Let's go ahead and take care of you. Applejack's is a little bit stronger now. She's got some of that upgraded gear, so she's doing all right for herself. But what was I saying? Yeah, so the drop rate was terrible. I think I had been farming for over a half an hour and only had like 20 or 30 pieces of cloth. What is over here? Oh, hello, silver vein. It looked new. I thought it was something different. But we're going to continue to stop and mine. There's another one over here as well. Hello, snake. That's a tin vein. Excellent. So when you mine, you get all of these stones with it as well. So copper veins give you rough stones and tin veins give you uh, coarse stones. And I believe it's the iron deposits that have the heavy stones. But when I was reading up on those, they were mostly in the Western Plaguelands and Feralis. So I am not ready to go over to those areas yet. So I figured I was out of luck until I was able to make it over there. So we are at Fort Livingston and I'm going to grab this flight path here and we're going to keep on moving. We have missions, we have things to do. So anyway, these people graciously added me to their group and we ended up just staying in one spot and getting a ton of loot from that. And I got hundreds of wool cloth and I didn't even really need all of it, but I was grateful to have it because we could always use it at some point. And then if I don't need it, I can always put it on the auction house. So we're just going up and over here. And we should now be in the Cape of Stranglethorn. 
Yeah, so those people that helped me out were fantastic. Otherwise, I think I would have been there for hours. Oh. What is over here? What is that? Oh. It's an iron deposit. Okay, and yes, the iron deposits drop the heavy stones. So that is useful. Good, good. So we just have to find some more iron deposits around here. And I could check wild professions and see where in Stranglethorn is a good spot to farm for these. Since obviously they have them here. We'll probably do that. And I'm getting tons of experience from mining. So that was another thing too. And why Applejacks is like so high level now. I was going around to the Hillsbrad foothills and mining the tin ore over there. And I went up to that into that mountain area that has all the yetis. I think it's Alterac Valley. And I farmed up there as well. So we had to head over here to the Explorers League dig site. Hello, Yo. Bronwyn. See you soon. Bring the open Mush Og bounty to Dask the Flask Gob Fizzle. Keep your feet on the ground. And he's right over there. But first, we're going to run over here and grab this flight path. Alright, there you go. Need the Moshog Bounty. Yes, it all falls upon Tiny Dask. So we are to obtain a vial of Iron Jaw Humor from the Iron Jaw Behemoth. So I believe that is up and around here. What is after me? Oh a zombie. I am pretty sure that I can wipe him out before he even gets to me. Ooh, what is that? A burning war axe? Ooh, I can't use that, but I can sure sell that. What's that? There's another silver vein over here. Come on. Get up there. Well, that's exciting. Applejog's got a blue drop that might be worth something. So we'll have to see how that goes. We'll sell that once we get back to Stormwind. And so this is where we're supposed to be by the Crystal Vein Mine. It's kind of barren over here. I think there's supposed to be a bunch of basilisks in here. Well, hopefully we can find more iron deposits or some of the tin veins. Oh, hello there. Alright, well I guess we'll just keep going. I think the basilisk we have to kill is over here. Yep. There he is, the iron jaw behemoth. Iron jaw basilisk. I need your humor. Oh, he's got an eye ray on me. Oh, and a petrifying blast. So I can't move. That's alright, we got him. We got him. Oh, come on, Surge. What the heck are you doing back there? Alright, so I got the humor. And here's another iron deposit. So I am super excited that we are at this point with our professions. We're in really good shape. But I do need to get a bunch of those heavy stones because I need them for heavy blasting powder because I am going to need all that for later. It's the next part of what I need to do to level up the engineering. Now we'll get this basilisk over here. See, look at that. Isn't Applejack's doing so well? Although I was doing terribly when I was grouping up with those lovely people back in the wetlands to farm. 
they were farming lovely charms and I was just getting the wool cloth. And I could have stuck around a little bit more, but I needed to stop and come back and start recording for you guys. But I was doing terribly. She was like one-shotting all of these. And they were just like a ton of mobs. There was like maybe four or five orcs and then a couple of these dragonkins. And she, I mean, she might have had heirlooms on. I don't know for sure, but Applejacks doesn't wear heirlooms. So she was trying to help me out because I kept doing my blizzard and all the mobs would be dead by the time my stuff even hit anything. But then she was just trying to help me. I was like, spec arcane and do arcane blast. And I was like, I could do that, but the time it's going to take me just to figure out how to navigate through arcane is just, it's just not worth my time right now. But obviously Applejack's needs a little more training. But anyway, here we go. Hi, the Iron Jaw the humor. And I Okay, obtain the holy water of clarity from the wellspring. I do not remember this quest being How here. Kill twelve thrash tail or iron jaw basilisks. Of course. Why not? I was just over there. Anyway, on that note, I think I'm going to end this episode here. And excuse me, Winston, I do not want your butt in here. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. I will see you in the next video.